Well, now that we are confined in our homes for more than 21 days because of this epidemic, damn you virus. Well, this is going to be the best time to complete all the games that you always wished you can play. So today I will be listing out 10 games that you should be playing in 21 day lockdown. At number 10 comes Ori and the Will of the Wisp. This game is a cute little platformer game that sounds and looks beautiful just like the characters in the game. You are a small creature called Ori which is too cute to ignore. But you fight bigger and powerful monsters in order to save your friend. This game is a sequel to Ori and the Blind Forest which has touched the heart of many gamers and it is very emotional game indeed. You thought the intro to Last of Us was emotional? Welcome to Ori and the Blind Forest. Ori and the Will of the Wisp includes a lot of fighting and you have to use your abilities but you only have to select which abilities you can use out of all the abilities you have because you can only use limited amount of abilities and the game does not also restrict you to go to any portion of the map for progression. The world is really beautiful but corrupted and dark at certain places and you being the light is the only way to brighten those areas. There are many boss battles in this game where enemies are twice the size of you and three times powerful and you might get frustrated at times but it is very possible to defeat them. This game is available right now on Steam for only $6.99 but you can also play this game using Xbox Game Pass and you can join Xbox Game Pass for only 50 rupees if you are using it for the first time. Otherwise, you can just pay 250 rupees per month and play Ori and the Will of the Wisp until you're paying that subscription per month. At number 9 we have The Witcher series. That's right, it's The Witcher that you saw on Netflix but only better. The Witcher games are made by CD Projekt Red and it is based on the novel of The Witcher. Even The Witcher 1 looks so bland and not so interesting but it is Witcher 2 where things get more interesting and less boring. The world of Witcher is very different where there are monsters, dragons, dungeon, magic and women. Very important part of the game. The world is huge in Witcher 3 and you use your horse named Roach to travel around the world and also kill a lot of enemies using magic. The story is very engaging and also emotional at times which keeps you engaged throughout the game and something that you will never forget. And the game itself looks beautiful because the graphics are absolutely stunning in Witcher 3 especially. And you can also upgrade your skills and magic to defeat much powerful enemies. The weapons, the fighting technique, magic and the world itself make this game very unique. And now since you have nothing to do, this is the game that you should be playing. Because Witcher 3 is available right now at 240 rupees and Witcher 2 that is available for only 84, less than a Red Bull energy drink. Number 8 is Stardew Valley. This is a simulation role playing game where you have taken over your deceased grandfather's farm in a place called Stardew Valley. Well in this game you can grow crops of course but you can also craft goods, mine for ores and also talk to people from the town. You can do fishing and cooking and also go to mines which are procedurally generated where you can either mine or kill some creatures. You can also work on quests or complete bundles that will give you awards such as access to new area or items such as seed or tools. This game doesn't have an ending, it's more about getting to know the people in the town or taking a look at your farm or maybe finding new areas and new people and make friends and then wake up the next day to check out on them. The game is kind of similar to Minecraft where you explore and mine but it also has a whole lot of humanity in it. Plus this game looks cute and interacting with every single person has a different personality to it which is more amazing. The game right now is available on Steam for only 4.79 rupees. Number 7 comes with Rainbow Six Siege. Well, no one ever thought that this game would be in the list. Rainbow Six Siege is an online tactical shooter with a 5v5 match where each match goes for 5 rounds and the best of 5 wins. But it can also go till 9 rounds because both the teams are so pro that their scores have been tied till 5th round. Now this game is based on character and each character has different equipments which is very much important in a game like Six Siege. You start off as recruit but the more you play the more characters you unlock. The gunplay is very solid in this game and you have to be very tactical in order to get a kill. But shooting is not the only thing because you also have to use gadgets, know the map design and also know the gun recoil in order to get the best experience. The game is based on attack or defense so if you are on attack all the members of the team drop a drone that will go and search for either a bomb, a hostage or maybe a biohazard container that you have to secure. And if you are a defender then your team will have to barricade the walls, the doors, the windows, plant some of the traps that the enemies might get into which never happens with me. 
and once all is said and done, you start your fight. It is a very competitive game and even in Gamer Connect community, Rainbow Six Siege has a great fan base. And this is the time to play this game because the game is available only for $3.99. So go get it right now and join this amazing R6 community where you get to know everything and you will also have a lot of fun. At number 6 is one of my favorite series, Metro. Metro games are just one of those games that is so interesting to play. There are 3 Metro games in the total and the latest game, which is the final game, Metro Exodus came out last year. Because of the nuclear war in 2013, the world has completely wiped and only a few amount of people remain and they live in the metros because the world outside is filled with monsters and harmful chemicals that can, well, kill everyone. But after 20 years, one of the stations was attacked by this creature called the Dark One and you, RTM, you somehow survive that and go on a quest to deliver dog tags that was given to you by another character in the game. The game then continues with Metro Last Light and Metro Exodus continuing the story of RTM where you find out soon enough that you and the Dark One has something in common. The game is scary at times because you do run out of ammo so you have to search in every single corner to find ammo and also the gas mask that you have has filters on it which can be used for only a limited amount of time so you have to change those filters and if you don't have enough filters well you will only live for 5 more seconds before you die. It is a great survival game with monsters because you do get scared a lot when you don't have enough ammo to kill the monsters who is right in front of you. The Metro series is available as separate games in Steam for 500 each, except for Metro Exodus which is available for 1000 rupees. But you can add them on wishlist if you want to because these games do go out on a much better sale. At number 5 we have Bioshock Games. Bioshock is a groundbreaking game that mixes guns and abilities in a seamless and rather satisfying gameplay. The first game was set in an underwater city of Rapture in 1960s, so you will have audio recordings being played instead of talking to NPCs and just the look of the city will remind you of that time. And soon you will learn about Adam which was supposed to give abilities to people but then it was used so much that they are no longer people and only ability people and you have to fight them and by the end of it you have to find a way to escape this place and go home. The game was so popular that it brought two more games. One is Bioshock 2 which is a continuation of Bioshock in the rapture after 7 long years and the other is Bioshock Infinite which was set in 1912 Columbus and the city was suspended in the air. In all these games the gameplay is quite amazing and you will be interested to know what the story is and the story does have a lot of twist. And you can play all the three games in just one game named Bioshock the Collection which is right now available in cdkeys.com for just 960. So go get it now because these games are just beautiful. Number 4 is our own Call of Duty Warzone. Well this is the largest battle royale to be honest and the fastest growing battle royale because it has reached 30 million players ever since it got released. Drop in with your squad mates or alone where you will drop in a map so huge because it contains 150 players and fight hard to be victorious. And I never got to be one. Well that's not it because this game has much more. For example kill streaks and perks which you can use if you can find them. And if you die just in case you have a chance to respawn yourself for free. But you have to fight 1v1 against a random dude. But don't worry even if you lose that your team can respawn you with the help of money. Unlike other games you drop with a secondary weapon so that you can defend yourself even if you don't have a gun. The game is action packed and fast paced just like Apex Legend but it's also different such as adding contracts that you can complete to get more money. It's all about money. But don't worry this game won't cost you any money because it is free. And it is available right now on Battle.net but just so you know this game will take around 100 GB of download size. So make sure you have around 150 GB of hard disk space. I know these games are too big. At number 3 there is Minecraft. Minecraft is a sandbox survival game where the world is a block including yourself. During the daytime you explore and mine and build whatever you want to build and at night time you go outside and kill zombies and monsters or you, you just sleep in your own house. That works too. The single player experience is the one where you explore a lot of places and there is a lot of places and you try to find a lot of items that will help you to create more weapons, armor, house and a lot of things. It is a game where you travel from one location to another to find dungeons, villages and some other dangerous places where people might even kill you. You can build so many good stuff in this game. For example automated wool collection, waterfall or maybe melon farm and so much more. 
Apart from single player, the game also has a creative mode where you have the ability to create whatever you want. Want to build your own house? Well, do that in creative mode because you have all the items that is needed to build anything you want because you don't have to worry about hunger, zombies, monsters, anything. It's just build, build and build. The game also includes a numerous number of mods, for example, Pixelmon, which is Pokemon in Minecraft or RL Craft, which is real life Minecraft, which is also three times harder than Minecraft. It is a survival game where you won't only enjoy playing alone, but you will also enjoy playing with your friends. And right now it's available only for 1800 in Minecraft's official website. And it's much better if you buy the Java edition of Minecraft instead of buying the Windows 10 edition. At number 2, we got Skyrim, also known as Elder Scrolls V Skyrim, which is a single player action role playing game where you play in a huge open world environment with a lot of dungeons, cities, towns and a lot of creatures like dragons, trolls and so much more. Well, the graphics might not be as good and maybe the combat isn't as awesome when compared to Witcher, but when you start playing this game and after a while, you will realize why this game is so addictive. You get to make your own character and also improve your character skills such as combat, stealth, magic and you will get to use all of those because oh boy, you need to kill some creatures. Engaging with NPCs is the best thing in this game because you don't only have conversations with them, you can marry them, you can even kill one or engage in a non-lethal brawl, which is much fun. And you also get to know their backstory and you yourself think about the story and the situation they are in and that just creates a crazy story of every person that you meet. The game is filled with quests and it keeps on filling more and more quests for you to complete. And in that way you get to know more new areas, more new creatures, meet new people and to see what goes around and also what comes around. And then there are mods, well it's better if you check them out yourself. The large scale world with its environment, NPCs, killing these monsters and also completing quests is the exact reason why you should be playing Skyrim right now. But don't worry, the game is not that pricey because the legendary edition of this game is available on cdkeys.com for only 550 rupees. And the topmost game which is number 1, Doom Eternal. It's always fun to shoot monsters and demons down in an epic action fast paced game with shotguns, rocket launchers, pulse rifles and machine guns and that is exactly what Doom Eternal is all about. Doom Eternal is a sequel to Doom 2016 and the objective is basically to kill all demons. Well because you are the chosen one. Destruction, gore, action, monsters is all what Doom is about. Although this game has limitations on ammo, but you can get more by slicing your enemies or demons and creatures with the help of chainsaw. You have certain items like shoulder mount and sidearms which can emit fire and ice when you want to. It also has some interesting lore and has been building up in this very game and it looks very interesting. But to be honest, it's about shoot and kill monsters in the most gory way possible and also to test your skills in the nightmare mode. I have a couple of friends who are doing that and they just want to die right now. Doom Eternal is available on Steam for around 4000 rupees. Well those were the 10 games that you guys should be playing in this lockdown. Let me know in the comments below if there are other games that you are playing at this very moment. And in moments like these, it's very important that you stay indoors and play a lot of games because you are the one who needs to take precautions and also help your family. So guys, stay safe, stay positive and keep on gaming.